Hi, this is Marge Hurst at Highland Hill Farm, and I'm showing you one of our small peach trees that we have for sale. This variety is called Hail Haven. It is a nice freestone peach. That means you can open it up and the stone comes right out. You can see this little baby has really outdone itself with its growing and producing fruit. You can produce your own fruit in your backyard. These trees have never been sprayed, so I can actually come out take a piece of fruit off like this and you twist it when you take it off and eat it right off the tree. I don't even have to wash it. I can wipe it off a little bit make sure there's nothing on it. Take a bite. Fresh, juicy. Can't ask for too much more than that. Peaches are known to be high in vitamin A and C, potassium and fiber. So they're very good for you. You can raise them in your own yard and eat them right off the tree. This is Marge Hurst at Highland Hill, and I'm showing you now about pruning your peach trees. We like to use a modified open leader, and even on a young one like this, you can see the center of the plant is open with the branches going this way and this way. It gives it more sunlight to each of the branches, and then the more sunlight, the, tree, the fruit will become nice, full, thick. Now, on these plants, you can see I have a lot of weight on these small branches. We probably should have thinned a little bit of the fruit, just so there's not quite that weight. But once the peaches come off, the branches will come up. You can see the weight, these nice little, these, it's a small tree with quite a bit of fruit. So once we take the fruit off, the branching will come up. A little bit heavier branches that have been pruned already nicely support the weight of the peaches. And again, as the tree keeps growing, we will continue directing growth sideways off of all the way around and having the center open. That way more sunlight comes in, your fruit gets the sunlight, becomes nice, um, succulent, and the openness with the sunlight hitting the tree cuts down on the diseases. Sunlight will burn off any, or not any, but many of the things that will bother a peach tree. So keep it open, keep it going sideways, and you can see we have beautiful fruit on a tiny tree. I'm Bill Hurst and this is Marge, my wife. We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. These are a 9 to 10 foot green giant. The green giant is a very fast growing tree. It can grow upwards to 3 feet a year. And as you can see, it's measuring to 9 foot to the end of the main body of the tree. And the little tail that goes up, we don't really count. These trees can be planted from 6 to eight feet apart in straight rows or staggered rows. We do deliver and plant them up and down the East Coast, and they're great for windbreaks, screens, and buffers. If you have a heavy population of deer, the tree will be damaged slightly. Uh, what you might have to do if you have a lot of deer, you may have to spray it with some deer away. But generally speaking, if you have a, you know, a, a minor deer population, like a deer every week or every other week walking through your yard, this tree will not be bothered. If you have a minor deer population, even the emerald greens can be eaten alive. So we recommend the green giants for a lot of windbreaks and screens and buffers for their deer resistance, their bug resistance, and another good feature of this tree is that it grows predominantly with one single leader, as you see here. Now this leader can almost be bent back to the ground. It's a very tough plant, and it, you know it, it takes a lot of, lot of abuse, and it can withstand a lot of wind and snow damage. It's forgiving on the soil types, and it can take a little bit of shade. The reason it can take some shade is, as you can see, it's a little bit open. A very close, dense tree like the Emerald Green can take no shade, but the Green Giant is more open, so it can live in a, in a shaded environment. So give us a call. These are our 9 to 10 foot Green Giants at 215-651-8329. Thank you. These are green velvet boxwoods. 
So these are about 36 inches. You can see down there we have quite a few more of them. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. These are 7 to 8 foot Techni Arborvita. Give us a call, 215-651-8329. Thank you. These are our Blood Good Japanese Maples here at Highland Hill Farm. We have larger sizes as well as smaller sizes, and we also have weeping Japanese red maples and also green maples. So give us a call, 215-651-8329. We're at Highland Hill Farm, and we're going to show you some arborvitas today. This is a block of arborvitas. We have three types in this block. We have emerald greens, green giants, and niagaras. And this arborvita right here is our six to seven foot green giant. And the tail on this can go up considerably over six to seven feet, but we don't measure the tail. We measure the tree to the end of the main body of the tree. This tree is very, very deer resistant. We have a lot of deer in this area and it suffers virtually no deer damage. It's also very resistant to snow load. I can just take this tree and bend it. And you can bend it way over like that. You can see and it can take it. It snaps right back. It also doesn't suffer from bagworm damage like other arborvitas. And it usually grows with one single straight leader so it doesn't break apart after it gets larger. We like to sell this tree trimmed and a heavy trim as well, and usually that's the way we sell it. But if you want this open confirmation, we can bring that to you as well. This is a field-grown plant. It's been in the field about four years. This particular tree can grow upwards to three feet a year, and it's used to being planted fairly close to one another, so you can make a long windbreak and have a very tight hedge effect. And these are a little bit larger. These are about a eight to ten foot tree right here and uh, they're, they're very very good to, to plant because they're very resistant to diseases and they are not as susceptible to the lack of moisture like the emerald green these are emerald greens back over here this is a six to seven foot emerald green right here and we do sell those the emerald green is not deer resistant the reason you don't see any deer damage on here, even though we have a lot of deer in this area, is because this, this particular block is encompassed by an 8-foot deer fence. So you can see the block goes on quite a ways. So we have quite a bit of selection here for you. So give us a call at 215-651-8329.